So hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Everton Football Manager Series. Today we are going to episode 5 and we are taking on Crystal Palace, Manchester City, West Ham and Oxford in the Cup. Now these games here, apart from Man City, judging off the way we've been playing, I'm pretty confident we should be able to pick up three wins this episode, hopefully. This is the team I'm going with against Crystal Palace, pretty much what you're used to seeing um, so far in this series. Obviously this, this front three here has been absolutely sensational for us as well and hopefully they can carry on their form and we can just keep going. I do want to thank you all for the support on the videos again. You guys have been showing a lot of love to this Everton series right from the start. So if you've got any friends that you want to introduce to this series, be sure to share it. I'm going to be doing a lot of live streaming in the upcoming week. Um, and it should be a good time, guys. It really should. But we're going to get into this game here. And hopefully we can pick up three points against the Palace side, who I think are actually doing quite well this season. And Pickford there nearly called into action right off the bat. But we're just warming up into this game here. Godfrey into Allen. Down the line, back into Allen, into Delhi, and that is he disallowed. It's a great finish from Calvert Lewin, nearly his seventh goal. Obviously, there are a few players that are going to look like they've got incredible goal scoring stats, but we did obviously have that game that was against um, Newcastle, and a lot of players pummeled pretty much, well, plummeted stats there and just absolutely farmed them but that is a beautiful chip from calvert lewin and against a team like crystal palace where are they actually in the table they're actually doing very well but that is what i wanted the long throw in it's the first time i've actually scored from a long throw in on this game or like directly from a long throw in um is in getting the ball in the box but this is the perfect start and this is what we need because although Palace are having a great season I look at their team I look at ours and our team is definitely got it's definitely got the upper hand and we should be beating a team like Palace but no game is easy so you've got to go into every game prepared as usual but Manchester City this episode is going to be the killer and their goalkeeper is honestly having a mare there I mean he's got to be doing better it's looked like quite a reasonable shot to save and he's just let it in hardly any power but I say that as we go 3-0 up, and this is looking like a very com very comfortable game. I must say, I do like the way this formation plays. Um, just, just the way that, you know, we don't necessarily dominate the ball every single game, but when we get Parson, we do get Parson. I mean, look at this. It's sensational stuff, and Deli Ali again with a goal, and a 4-0, running absolute rampant at home against Crystal Palace, and with limited Palace to only a shot as well. So, I mean, not much to worry about there. And it looked, to be fair, I'm going to keep the players on. Um, maybe for now, I might might look to bring on Decore, um, possibly rotate some of the back line a bit, get some you know fresh people on. But we've not got many people on the bench actually who can come on for the front, um, for the, like, the top of the pitch. But no, guys, if you're not used to this formation, I did, I honestly I recommend it. I have got a couple of videos coming out which are going to be formation and tactics. Um, I'm doing an online save with Chelsea with a mate and um, I felt oh, I built this formation and it is honestly incredible. But we're just going to praise them here because we, we're doing nothing wrong. We will make a couple of substitutions, get some fresh legs on. Alan's on a book and so we'll bring on Gomez. We'll bring on Decore as well. And we will also, why not, just bring on a centre half as well. Give everyone a run out because we have got a few games to get through. And luckily, we've also got that cup game because we can play rotation there, which is honestly a blessing. But this should be quite a comfortable get. Oh, Gomez there. This should be quite a comfortable win now. Obviously, the four goal lead, it drops Palace down into ninth place and pushes up into third. So, very good for us. Um, still, you know, quite a gap to the top, but we're not expected to even be in the top four this season. So, fantastic result there from the boys. And to be honest, I can't really fault the performance. Um, we didn't concede, didn't really give up too many opportunities, got the goals when it mattered. And that is going to see us through until we play Manchester City, which is in 14 days. So I'm going to come back to you guys if we've got an interesting email or once we've got the lineup ready, because that is quite a big break. So then, guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing more or less the same lineup against Manchester City. But one good thing about this team is, apart from the back line, which I can rotate in and out, but obviously Coleman's not going to be playing because he's tired and stuff like that. Front end of the pitch pretty much stays the same. 
Um, Richardson, Calvert-Lewin, Ali, Van der Beek, Allen. They're pretty much all going to play as long as they're fit to do so. Apart from the cup, where obviously things can change, but to, actually, I'll tell you what, I will bring into Corey there because I feel like he's a bit more, a bit more strong than Davies. And this game against City, my plan is to try and get physical and try and irritate him because they have got the better quality, they've got the better players. Um, but hopefully, like we did against Arsenal, we can go into it and sort of just catch him off guard. But this is quite an ask. Um, similar to the Liverpool game was quite an ask. This is the same situation. Their team is absolutely incredible. Um, so hopefully we can go in and, I mean, a point would be fantastic here as well. But it's not going to be an easy job. We're going to carry on positive because that's how we play football. We don't sit back all the time. And, you know, we'll just see how we do. But this is a very, very tough game to play. That is for sure. But nevertheless, Calvert-Lewin through to Richarlison. And it's 1-0. And unlike the Liverpool game, when we went 1-0 down inside of 10 minutes, I believe, we're 1-0 up inside of 10 minutes. And it's absolutely sensational. Sensational stuff. 1-0. Man City back with a shot, though. But, I mean, right now, I could just sit back. But I'm not going to. I could instantly regret that as I say this. But... A very good save, I think that was um, from Pickford there onto the post. But the early goal's massive, but we can't just sit back now because we're going to invite so much pressure on. And yeah, they are now dom they're, they're dominating the game big time. But if we can just stay a bit resilient here, I'm going to praise the team because they are playing well. Um, I'd, I'd like to say Alan, very good win into Delhi, into Richarlison. And I'm telling them to have shots on the edge because I've seen to have the players to be able to do that. Um, Richarlison, Deli Ali, Calvert-Lewin all seem to be quite confident with doing that. We're going to keep the same team on for now. Or oh, Patterson can actually come off. We'll bring on Coleman because um, he has got a slight knock. And I really do not want any injuries because we are starting to pick up some form. Now, that is a free kick on the edge. It's a Donny van der Beek and it's off the bar. And I thought that was going to be in. I thought it was in, but... This is a fantastic opportunity to try and actually get a result here. I'm going to put, I'm going to add a lot of time wasting, and I'm going to be honest. The left back is looking shattered, so we are going to make a sub. We might actually bring on Kenny there just for the, you know, we don't want to have a tired fullback on against Man City. It's one thing you don't want. But they look to get back into the game, and Gundogan there with a very, very long range pop shot. Van der Beek is looking incredibly tired, so we are going to also have to sub him off. Um, I am going to get, I'm going to get Gomez on in there. And, yeah, we'll keep it like that. But overall, this performance has been sensational. I'm going to keep it as it is because, I mean, I don't want to go all negative and suddenly we start going on the back foot. And as I say, red injuries. I've obviously made my subs because I thought we were going to be fine. But that means we're going to have to play the last 15 minutes against Manchester City with 10 men. 10 men. So what I'm going to do here is I can't make a sub. So I've now got to play somebody that is not comfortable at right back, at right back. So the player I think I'm going to play, I will drag Godfrey across there. And I'll put Coleman into there and Decore can go into centre back. And that's what we can do. We've still got these two midfielders here. Um, we've got Deli Ali Richarlison on. And hopefully we can just seal this out. We are going to go... A bit more cautious now because this is going to be quite a challenge. Obviously, this is my fault, but and he's given it away right away. Very, very lucky to escape that. We are actually now going to be a bit, a bit more disciplined, and we are just going to try and hold on because this is a very, very tough one now. Come on, come on, come on! Wow. Well, I mean. It's a game that we probably didn't deserve to win. They definitely deserved a goal. The stats are pretty much all in their favour, apart from the one that actually matters, which is the goals. Um, the resilience shown there by the players was honestly incredible. And the fact that also, obviously, I've put Decore in centre-back. He had a little error when he first came on, as you saw in the highlight, or as he first changed position, sorry. But this is what we're worried about. This is what we're worried about. So Coleman out for three to four months. Um... So we'll do this one because that's guaranteed three months. And Patterson is out for a few days. Not too bad. But the issue with losing one of your fullbacks, even if he is like... Coleman is pretty much first team still. But even if it... Whenever you lose a player where you've only got like one other option, it's really bad because it now means that all the pressure, all the game time goes on the one player. And chance of him getting injured pretty much double. But 
hopefully we pick up no more injuries. But what a result that is against second in the league, Manchester City. And that now, well, we're still in third. Man City obviously still got a couple more points than us, but it's a beautiful result. It wasn't pretty. We got an early goal and just sort of held on, but... It's what I mean. We're not going to score five six against City, but I'm going to come back to you once we've got the lineup against West Ham, and hopefully we can try and go there and pick up three points. Then, guys, this is the lineup against West Ham, and we unfortunately have picked up another injury. It's going to be none other than Tom Davies, who is out now for about two weeks with a pulled hamstring. Um, so it's another injury we really didn't need. This game here. I, if I can, unless anyone's really tired, I'm not going to be making any subs because we've got a full rotation side next and I want to keep the confidence going. Obviously, if any of the players are ridiculously tired, then I will take them off. But hopefully, you know, we can sort of keep these players on and give some of these guys a run out the whole game next game. Um, but West Ham is not an easy game. They've got some fantastic players and I don't know where, where they actually are in the league this season on here. But um, as you can see by their team, a very good team. They've kept hold of Declan Rice, which is massive for them. I don't know if they are going to be able to do that in real life. But on the game, they've kept him. And we can just hope that we can come here and try and get something going. They're playing the 4-2-3-1, a very popular formation in English football. Um, a lot of teams use it. A lot of teams do use it. And it's them with the first chance, actually. Are they going to get the ball back into the box? Declan Rice into Ogbonna. Good interception. And we could have been away there. Van der Beek, ball over the top to Corey. And that's a fantastic save from Areola. And Van der Beek with the corner in. And it's 1-0. I have worked on set pieces. Um, I've done a lot of time off, off record. Like, I mean, a lot of time. And um, I did research it as well to see, you know, some good ideas for it. And we do capitalise on set pieces now, which is very good, as that is what champions do. You look at teams like Liverpool and Man City, and they, they look so dangerous from set pieces to a team compared to someone like United, who obviously didn't score in several. And that is actually now 2-0, Deli Alley, And I feel like I'm getting the best of Deli Alley here. I've given him full confidence every single game. I let him I let him play, and to be honest, he's not shown me any signs that he shouldn't be playing. And... That's the main thing for me. Like, if he's playing well, I'm not just going to stop playing him. And hopefully, he doesn't pick up any serious injuries. And it's very clumsy from the left back. He's not made an he's not made an error all season. So I mean, it's not it's not great. But I thought Pickford saved that. But um, it's his first error. He does play a lot of games, so I don't know if he's a bit tired or just lapse of concentration really. But it's not good because it's, it's given him. It's given them pretty much a way back into the game right before half, not right before half time, but they are back in the game for half time. And Alan, that does not look like a red card at all. Um, hang on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I instantly he's made the sub for me. I was like, hang on, what's going on here? But that that is what I'll do then with that. But I mean, it's not, it's not great, is it? I mean, hang on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought, honestly, I think I'm losing my blitting head at this point. Um, but let's bring on then. Um, we will bring on... Hang on, if we cancel it for a second. Right, we can have a play about it here. Have a little play about, see what's going on. So, I mean, it, it still looks decent. I mean... Do I want to... Mm, I don't know if I need to... Um, make any more subs in here really i want to keep players on if i can i do want to keep players on if i can we'll keep it as it is we'll keep it as it is but you never know but it's very clumsy from alan to get sent off like that They're very clumsy for alan but hopefully we can hold on i mean i'm looking at the formation and oh my god van der beek i'm looking at it. i'm tempted to drop some people back but at the same time, they've not been dominating us like all over. So I'll keep it as it is for now. And with one possession back there, it's a poor pass from Calvert-Lewin though. And here we go again, Delhi into Van der Beek. A very interesting ball is coming back in. A funding actually. Yari Mina keeping it alive to Corey. Back to Godfrey to Decore. Ball across. Van der Beek hits it. It's a great save. And Velasic on the counter-attack. A beautiful challenge from Godfrey there. Absolutely fantastic. And um, if you're on a while, it's like... 
acting a bit like no i just i got a bit confused earlier because i for a second i thought they didn't take a player off my team but they did it was just because it changed automatically i wondered what happened but obviously the assistant must have done it or something but we are going to introduce some time wasting for the last couple of minutes of this game and we have just about got over the line against a west ham team who did look dangerous obviously they got the penalty which didn't help in that scenario but the main thing is we got the points and it actually is here we go so this i'm going to appeal because it didn't look that reckless five games we have wins in five games straight so a fantastic fantastic record for this team especially and we now go in against oxford o oxford oxford sorry and i'm going to play a full rotation so i'm going to get back to you once i've got the team and it should look a lot different so then guys this is the team we're playing against oxford in the carabao cup we're playing begovic kenny godfrey Keane, patterson holgate in a ball winning midfielder role because he is comfortable playing there gomez ali awobi rondon and gray so it's a very very different look team um our bench is ridiculously strong and the one thing I, if delph was fit i would have played him for holgate but holgate does look pretty comfortable playing there um but if if we are getting dominated on the ball, then I will bring on someone like Decore just to seal it up. We've got an absolute load of injuries down here. Um, Tosun is actually injured, so he can't play. El Ghazi's injured, obviously Tom Davies, Coleman. And, you know, we've got a few injuries going on, but this team obviously is weak, but we are playing Oxford, and I hope that this is enough to get us over the line. In these cups... Until we either get to the later stages or we play top teams, I am going to be playing rotation because it's not the main focus. A little peep at their formation. Quite a decent formation they've got going there. But hopefully we've got enough, enough firepower just to take us over the line in this game and hopefully no shock exit. As I say, that long goes through with an opportunity to put them 1-0 up. But obviously a few of these players haven't played in a few games, so... It's going to be the first 15 minutes. It's going to be quite tough for him just to get the heads into the game, but they're more than capable of doing so. Begovic with a poor pass and opportunity flying away there. And we have got to be careful because a team like this, although they've not got lots of quality, if they go a goal up, there's nothing that says they can't just hold on to that because they will. They'll try and hold on to it. And I'm going to demand a bit more from the players because this has been really poor. Apart from the possession, which was has been decent, um, we've not had a lot going forward. Obviously, the one shot on target, Begovic with another save there, and he's probably been more busy than what he expected. They've got a chance here with a set piece, and it's well defended from Keane, but it's been quite a poor half for us. And I don't really fancy this going to penalties because anything can happen on pens. And, you know, I don't really fancy a shock exit. But we have got, you know, a little highlight here. Don't know if anything's going to come from it, though. Godfrey down the line to Kenny. Back into Godfrey. Gomez, ball over. And it's an opportunity, and it's unlucky from Rondon. But we are going to make a couple changes at half-time. Obviously, we can make up to five, I believe, in this. Holgate is going to come off for Decore just to seal it off. And I think Patterson is looking very tired. So we're going to get our first team left back on as well. And we will make attacking changes if needed. But I'm hoping just putting Decore on alone will just help that midfield be a bit more stable. And um, hopefully that is all that we need to try and, you know, get a bit more control in this game. But if it gets to like the 70th minute, 65th minute, something like that, I'll, I will bring on attackers because we can't afford to, to go to Pens against a team like this. Because Pens is in anyone's hands and they're having shot after shot and... I am tempted to make a substitute. I'm going to make a substitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off Rondon and we're going to bring on Calvert-Lewin. And we're going to leave it as that for now. Or actually, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. And we're going to bring on Richarlison as well because we want to just get the goals. We've, we've, they've managed to rest for over half the game. So, I mean, they've definitely got a bit of rest in, which is the main thing. But this is great play down here. And we just need to try and get the one goal going here, boys. It's really important. Keane, driving with the ball. We just can't find that final pass through. Godfrey keeping it alive. We're still going into Keane. Just playing it about to Corey Gomez Gray. Can he get it in the box? He has Gomez gets the goal, and it's fantastic. I am going to keep the substitutions. I am going to proceed with them because it's not enough. I feel like at this point, 
I mean, they can get a goal. They have had opportunities. Kenny down the line, just looking for it. It's beautiful from him. Gomez into Gray, through to Calvert-Lewin, and it's the quality difference. It is the quality difference. As soon as you get a player on with this, you know, disability, this dominance, he will get the goals, and it's what he's done, and it's a fantastic goal, and that is 2-0 up against Oxford, and it looks like that could be it. I'm pretty sure their heads have dropped, and that should be us getting through to the next stage of the Carabao Cup, and... A game which was definitely harder than expected. Um, it only became easier when I did bring on the first team players. And that is a fantastic episode. We obviously played Oxford. We won 2-0. West Ham 2-1. This game here was the main one. Quite a... I wouldn't say it was quite a good. It was a good defensive performance. We got the early goal and we held on to it. Um, Crystal Palace to dominate and win, and we are on a very good run at the moment. Obviously, it was a bit ropey up here, and also all well, this game was expected. But we're doing very good this season, and I hope to carry on this form. Be nice if we could pick up some free agents at some point, but we're going to carry on and just hope to carry on this form because I mean we're to play an absolutely sensational football. And next episode, you must tune in because we take on Watford. Villa, Burnley and Manchester United all Premier League ties and three games there which I would like to say we should be winning I would like to say we should be winning but let's see what we can do I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode I hope you have if you have please do like if you are going to subscribe it would mean the world to me please do turn on notifications as well because basically you'll get notified when I upload please do comment guys as well because I love interacting with you guys it means the world you guys tuning in I promise there will be streams coming up soon and I'll see you guys in the next one